Hello guys, this is Amos Stone Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play five beginner-friendly songs such that you can instantly learn and play and sing these songs for yourself after this specific lesson, okay? So these five songs are all transposed into C major because it is beginner-friendly like that, because everything is played on the white keys, so nothing on the black keys needed to be touched in this specific lesson. So here we go, let's get right into it. The first song that we're going to learn is you are my sunshine, okay? So there are two chords to this, so pretty easy. We're gonna start off easy and then build up a little bit harder and harder, okay? So there are two chords in this song, C major and F major. So for all of these particular songs, we're gonna teach you in the form of the right hand playing the block chords and the left hand doing just the bass note of the chord. So for C major, right hand goes C, E, G, and left hand just double up the bass note, that's C. Okay, so that's C major. And then it goes to F major. So the right hand goes to F, A, C, and left hand, the bass note, F. Just like that. So there you go. Practice these two chords first. That's what you want to do. Familiarize yourself with the chords before you actually play and sing the song. Okay, so now that you have the two chords, C major and F major, it's pretty much like this. So you sing. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey You never know, dear, how much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away Alright, so, you can actually optionally Optionally, is that what you say? Yeah, optionally add another chord for sunshine, okay? Which is G major chord, which is G, B, D, and the left hand do G, all right? So you can do that, you can do, so the last line you can do, please don't take my sunshine away. Yeah, making it actually two chords plus an optional G major chord for sunshine, all right? So up to you, you can just either do it the easier two chord version, or you can do it the extra chord at the end to make it a bit more uh, complete like that but anyways that's the first song very simple only two chords to learn and you can pretty much play and sing this for yourself okay now let's move on to the next song which is just the way you are by bruno mars okay so this song only has three chords that you have to learn so up from the two main chords from the previous song that we learned now a three chord kind of song okay so here we go the three chords are c major which is once again you learned that from the previous song which is C, E, G and then on the left hand the bass note C alright and then next chord is A minor so right hand goes A, C, E and the left hand is just the bass note A and then F major which you learned in the first song so F, A, C which you know okay and then the bass note F and then the fourth and last chord actually goes back to C major okay so in essence, that's why I said three chords, but really it's actually a four chord cycle song. So it's C major, A minor, F major, and back to C major as the fourth chord. And then you back to the first chord, which is C major again, A minor, F major, C major. So practice these four chords a few times before you start going into the song. Okay, so just play it a few times, get it under your fingers, and we're all good. All right, so yeah. So you can see like the verse, you play it like this. Her eyes, her eyes, make the stars look like they're not shining. Her hair, her hair, falls perfectly without her trying. She's so beautiful, and I tell her every day. And then you can go to the chorus, the same thing. When I see your face. There's not a thing that I would change Cause you're amazing Just the way you are Yeah, so that's the same four chords over the verse and the chorus and just everywhere. So that's why it makes this song pretty easy to learn since it's actually only like three chords to learn for this four chord cycle and you just keep looping the chords and you can play and sing this song for yourself. Okay, now after this song, let's move on to the next song, which is I'm Yours by Jason Raz. Okay, this is another 
four chord cycle song but instead of uh, just three chords like just the way you are this is actually a four chord cycle since all the chords are different okay so let's go now the chord the first chord once again is c major so you know it already right hand c e g and then just the left hand just the bass note right and then second chord goes to g major which is G, B, D, and the left hand down to G, which you kind of know because uh, you remember in the first song that we learned that optional G major, so you actually learned this chord already. Then the third chord is A minor, which you know as well, it's the second chord from just the way you are. So just, right hand is A, C, E, left hand is the bass note A. And then the fourth and last chord of this chord cycle is F major, which you know because the first song and the second song has this chord, okay? which is right hand F, A, C, left hand just the bass note F, right? So, with these four chords, played it a few times, so remember the cycle. So C major, G major, A minor, F major, and play it just a few times to get it under your fingers, all right? All right, so after you've got these four chords, like, under your fingers, now you can pretty much, like, just attempt the song, okay? So, for example, like, the verse is like, well, you done to me and I bet I felt it I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted I fell right through the cracks Now I'm trying to get back And then, you know, the, like, kind of like the chorus is But I won't hesitate no more No more It cannot wait I'm yours all right so yeah that is this song okay for the four chord cycle song okay now the next song that we're gonna learn is finally something that's not starting on c major okay so the song we're learning now is shape of you by ed sheeran okay so this song starts on a minor which is the relative minor of c major okay so let's get right into the chords learning the chords first so uh, right hand the first chord is A minor which is A C E which you actually learned because remember in the second song and the third song there is A minor so you know this chord already once again the left hand just the bass note A all right that's first chord second chord is D minor we haven't learned this yet so D minor is D F A and then the left hand once again the bass note D third chord is F major which you learned from all the previous uh, songs we learned we had F major which is F A C and left hand just the bass note F and then fourth and last chord of the cycle is G major which you know from the uh, optional chord in the first song and also from the I'm yours G major which is G B D left hand just the G bass note so the four chords in the cycle once again is A minor D minor F major G major once again loop it a few times so you get the cycle under your fingers all right all right play it a few times now you're pretty much good to go. If you know the song, it should be pretty easy. All right, so for example, the verse, just like something like, Bar is in the best place to find a lover, so the bar is where I go. Okay, and then the chorus, uh, same chords, it's just like, I'm in love with the shape of you. I push and pull like a magnet too. Although my heart is falling too. I'm in love with your body. Ooh, I, ooh, I, ooh, I. I'm in love with your body. Yeah. Awesome song. Finally, so this song is probably the harder out of all five songs because there is like different inversions for the right hand, but it's a nice song. You can literally just play the right hand if you don't want to like um, get confused with the left hand because the left hand is actually not doing the lowest note of the right hand this time, okay? This song is Clocks by Coldplay, okay? Okay, so we're going to learn this. Alright, so we're firstly going to do the um, block chord version because by doing the block chord version, uh, we just need to apply a specific, I can't even talk properly, a specific pattern to actually turn it to that thing I just played. Okay, it's pretty awesome. Okay, I'll teach you the chords right now. The four chords are first inversion of G major, which is B, D, G. Okay, and then the second chord is second inversion of D minor, which is A, D, F. Third chord is first inversion of F major, which is A, C, F. And fourth chord is A minor, which is a normal chord, A, C, E. 
All right? So these four chords might take you a little bit longer compa compared to the other five songs. Uh, I mean, the other four songs, in, not including this one. So practice it a few times. So first inversion, G major, second version, D minor, first inversion, F major, and then A minor. Play it a few times. All right. So you can actually add the bass notes, uh, the root note of the chords as well, if you're more confident, because uh, the bass note is not the same as the lowest note of the right hand anymore. But yeah, the root note would, would be G, D, F, A for the left hand. All right, so playing it all together like this. Those will be the four chords for the two hands, okay? If you're not comfortable, just do it with one hand first, okay? So you can do something like this. Uh, just the right hand, you'll be like, the lights go well and I can be saved. Tides that I try to swim against brought me down upon my knees. Oh, I beg, I beg and plead. Yeah, something like that, okay? And then uh, if you're more comfortable, you can do it with two hands. You can be like, the lights go out and I can't be saved. And then uh, same tides and I try to swim against. Okay. And then afterwards, if you're really, really comfortable, I'll teach you the pattern, the pattern that I showed you in the preview, and then you can play it as a solo, or you can actually play it while you're singing as well, if you're up for a challenge, all right? So for all of the chords, this is the pattern that you have to learn. So we want to play it from the highest note down to the lowest note, okay, like this. Dun, dun, dun. And then once again, you repeat that high, mid, low, and then high, mid, okay? So there's eight notes in this pattern. So it's high mid low high mid low high mid high standing for the highest note low being the lowest mid lowest note and then the mid being the middle note okay so high mid low high mid low high mid and then you do this pattern for the next chord as well high mid low high mid low high mid okay and then same for the next chord high mid low high mid low high mid and then same for the next chord high mid low high mid low high mid like that Okay, so if you're up for that challenge, you can do it, uh, this pattern while singing. You can be like, the lights go out and I can't be saved. Okay, etc. And then you can even add the left hand in as well. So you can be like, the lights go out and I can't be saved, etc. Okay, so yeah, have fun with it. So just get the block chord version first, then get the block chord and the bass note version, and then just do the pattern version, then do the pattern and the bass note version, okay? So yeah, this is a good song to finish off this particular lesson because this is probably the most challenging one out of all five. I hope you had fun with all five of these songs. Just go ahead, practice every day these particular five songs, play and sing it, memorize it, and yeah. Or maybe also leave a comment telling me that you have successfully learned all five of these songs, you have played and sing this song, or even like leave a link to the particular video that you have played and sung like these songs using my piano tutorial in this lesson okay so hope you enjoyed this lesson by the way if you want to learn more about melody and chords improvising and playing by ear go ahead go to my website and learn more from my courses at bestpianomethod.com but as for now that's pretty much it for today's lesson if you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime and cartoon theme songs and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.